Alicia from parkflyers.com. This is a video assembly guide for our F14 electric six channel aircraft. The first thing you're gonna do is unscrew the screws on top of the fuse lock. This right here is the hinge point made by the factory, so we have to start by removing that. This is what the hinge point looks like. After you secure the wing, you're gonna install the hinge rod. After installing the wing, make sure the hedge pin is completely flush. You're gonna flip the plane over and secure the pin with the set screw. After we install the wing, we're going to place the clevis onto the ball joint. Now you're going to take the servo extension and plug it into the wire harness. Ensure that you line up the brown wire with the black wire to ensure polarity. You want to make sure that the wings are the same angle and to uh, facilitate that, you want to make sure the clevis clasp is properly adjusted. We're going to turn on the radio first and then we're gonna install the battery. To make sure the, the wings are functioning properly, you wanna hit the switch on the top of the uh, radio. Now you can place the cover on top and uh, screw in both screws. Next, you're gonna install the tail wing of the plane by sliding it on the carbon shaft. You're gonna install the aluminum collar onto the carbon shaft to secure the wing. Next, tail. we're gonna take the clevis and attach it to the ball joint on the elevator. Next, we're gonna uh, mix up the two part epoxy and install the tail wings. Fourteen comes with scale props, but we don't recommend using them while flying because it does mess with the aerodynamics. When flying your F-14, we recommend putting your dual rate switch onto the first position. In order for your wing retraction switch to work, which is this one, your channel 5 switch has to be in the down position, and your flap switch has to be turned all the way to the right. If those two things aren't so, this switch is not going to work. 